friends. Here we are on the morning of day six. We're up with the sun. It's 7 a.m. and we're headed down the trail. Hoping to put in another 15 mile day. But gotta get up over the top of the pass today. Again. Again. <laughs> Ooh, we got some wet vegetation out here. Yeah, well, no, it was, front. it was waist high for me. <laughs> All right, it's going to be a beautiful, hot, scorching day on the pass. We got little moose prints and big moose prints. How you doing back there? I'm just uh, hanging out behind you. Walking Steering along. you in the right direction. If you want to follow me, that's what I look like from behind. What, me? Yeah. <laughs>
stuck in the couch position. There's that flavoring. Mmm, come here. I'm gonna take some of my electrolyte drink here. It is lemonade flavor. Like lemons. Very nice on a hot day. Out in the middle of nowhere. Good morning, friends. Good morning. This is day two, right? Day, oh, seven? Seven, yes, day seven. Day seven, last day on trail. So sad. Um, yeah, great night. A little dewy and wet. Probably see the smoke in the air. Not exactly sure where that's coming from. Been out of touch with the rest of the world for about seven days. But still beautiful no clouds um, it's a little after seven I think in the morning I don't think we did a closeout last night we got to camp at like 2 p.m. it was just like so 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 hot it was, a scorcher. it was scorching hot and the bugs were horrendous but somebody took a couple naps yeah he, he took a couple naps and we could have kept going except my feet were bugging me a little bit. So anyways, we have about, we have 15 miles left. So our first destination is seven miles, seven miles for breakfast. So that's, you're gonna earn your breakfast there. <clears throat> that's where we're at. So we'll probably catch up with you again. Yeah, breakfast. How's Maddie today? How's Maddie this morning? 
chipper and ready to go. All the grass is wet with dew this morning. Swan Lake. Try the video and watch your feet. We're off. Look at that. Looks pretty swampy. Maybe if Maddie drinks it all up, it'll go away. Uh, oh, just do it. Just do it. Ooh. Oh yeah, kind of feels good. Check it out, man. Those trails all washed out. What are you gonna do? Maddie, like this, that's how you do like it. This. What? Do I follow? Who do I follow? You or her? Follow me, of course. It's up to you. Come on. Oh, she's going that way too. She's doing both, getting the full experience. I've become one with the lake. <clears throat> Back in the Swan Lake fire area. And we were just discussing why it's called the Swan Lake fire because you don't even get the warning or see signs of it until Juno Lake. So why is it called Swan Lake? Yeah, Swan Lake is no burn, but this is all burnt after Juno Lake. So maybe if you know that answer, you can let us know. But last year when we came through here, last year's video, this was very beautiful because the fireweed was up. So it was all this dark black with a bright pink fireweed. This year is just it's bright green. It's fresh, bright green with the black. It's just not quite as pretty. Very well maintained trail up to this point. It's all gravel. I think that first cabin is a, uh, we just passed. It's probably a, um, what do you call it? Like a tourist thing where people will hike out to the cabin with their families and whatnot. Cause it's only about 10 miles, right? From the, less than 10 miles from the parking lot. So, nine miles from the parking lot, so. Whoa, sorry. Here we are at our last 
campsite before the parking lot. We're eight miles out. Um, do you know what this is called? The campsites don't have names. Well, like the creek? We don't know. It's a creek. Well, it's a creek. There's like tons of camping area. Logs everywhere. Two bear lockers. Toilet back there. And then we've got this set up here. We've got the fire with a little cooking deals which, there. Which looks good now because I picked up all the garbage. Yeah. You know, don't leave the garbage here. There's a hanging rack which you can move up and down. These awesome logs. There's a table. There's a, a gear repair kit. If you're missing something or need something. There's a creek for water right here. to lull you asleep so it's really nice that's a large bear locker in comparison to most of them so I think this is made for a large group if you want to come out eight miles out and camp with a large group this would be the one we're actually gonna do a breakfast this is the only campsite I know of that has a kitchen table. Kitchen table. It's 1022. We put in our first seven miles or so. And he's already got his cold soap. He put his oatmeal in this plastic jar this morning with some water, cold water, and it's all soaked up. And that's going to be his breakfast. Mine is going to be oatmeal and hot water. Right, like this that's what I prefer. A cup. Bug got me. Uh, Bite your bum? that I wait for the water yep I got walnuts chia seeds oats strawberries it's gonna be a good one This is a, I think it's a wheat, plant-based wheat cup. This is probably so, silicone. So when you run out of food, you can eat your cup? Yeah. Well, <laughs> so it's not really plastic. It won't, won't break. Holds the heat pretty well. happening so, this, so what are you using there this is badger uh, brand sore joint rub this is an arnica blend it's all essential oils and whatnot it is sore and achy joint relief Just give myself a little massage And what do you not do with that stuff? You don't rub your eyes afterwards. <laughs> and how do we know this? Because I did that. And then I looked at the 
ingredients and there was like cayenne pepper and black pepper and all these yep that's why it stung ingredients <laughs> and it says what it say the way to get it off uh -oh. if you're allergic to it is baking soda and water yeah i didn't have any of those things so good thing you're not allergic to it i think i got a tan what do you think <laughs> hands are tanned out here in this Alaskan heat. We'll see how that goes. What's Maddie doing? We got eight more miles. Eight more? And give it a rest. Say we were done. Nope, eight more today and we're out. Take it slow. Back to the real world, reality. Ew. It was seven days of awesome though. Good enough. Ready to eat. Hmm. 